Right. Hey, yo, everyone. One. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. Welcome to another walkthrough episode for the game Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Yeah, I ran low on battery life for my chargeable battery, so... Anyway, the, this will be, be the last of the episode. Episode for, for this set. I mean, not, not the set set, but... For the mount. Well, right now my brother has a door open and he's talking loud on the phone. No respect. I managed to get find a soothing crystal. I'll have to look up the uh, the strategy guide to find out what that does. Let's see, Panacea could negate all the negative status effects easier. It restores a large portion of the focus gauge. That's pretty useful. Flame salvo. That's my shot lock command for now. forgot to tell you what payback raid does. Okay, what payback raid it does is press circle after being knocked into the air by a powerful blow to counter attack. <laughs> okay, let's go to the sticker album. You get to arrange stickers. See if you can find them all. Oh yeah, I could uh, rearrange the st stickers, but what I have a hard time finding is uh, if you uh, find a very dexterous spa spot, you gain more more points. Sticker collection. There are two st stickers in this world to collect. Formation. Wall Springs Crystal. They tell you the reward you uh, you gain uh, if. For the amount of points of the stickers you place on this album. So the closest uh, one I'm able to get is a Wellspring Crystal for 20 points. Treasures. So there are four, 14 tre treasures to collect in this world. Command collection. Shared items. I'll go over everything much late later. Actually, says since I'm gonna end, end up a. Uh, for our first uh, series of the this wall walkthrough, for for the time being, okay. Let let's go recap real, really quick before we continue. One contents for la the land of departure. Ventus, a Keyblade Wielder, have been training diligently under Master Arrakis along with his best friends Terra and Aqua. One night, Ventus, or Ven as they called him, was uh, up on the summit watching a meteor shower when Aqua arrived and gave him a good luck ch charm called the Wayfinder. At the mark of Mad Mastery exam the next day, Aqua had passed the test and was recognized as a true Keyblade Master, but Terra Master Arrakis decided was not ready for the same honor. Ven was already fraught with concern for his friend when he sun with suddenly a boy in the mask appeared out of nowhere and claimed that Terra was leaving. By the time Ben caught up with him, he would be a different person, and without any further explanation, the mass visitor vanished. Sure enough, Ben could not stop Terra from leaving. Scared he had just lost one of his best friends, Ben donned his armor the same way Terra had done, and flew off to go find him. Yeah, periodically I'll do a recap of 
of this uh, story so far and talk about go over the secret of reports but I'm not gonna look, discuss that until later game records hit counts yeah hit counts for every uh, dimension that link finish he used and Shot lock commands, character files. We'll look at the main characters for right now. Ventus, one of my master Erica's PO pupils. He usually goes by Vent for short, and he and Terra and Aqua have, uh, tr train together, sharing both he a healthy rivalry and a strong bond of friendship. Haunted by a map, by the mask of boys' uh, warnings about Terra, Vent the uh, fight master Erica's ran away from home. And set off for the outside to find his friends. Aqua. The only one, one of Master Erica's pupils to have been recognized as a true Keyblade Master. A healthy rivalry and close friendship uh, bind her and her training mates Terra and Ven together. Terra. A young man in training to become a Keyblade Master. He and his fellow pupils Aqua and Ven to share a healthy rivalry and strong bond of friendship. Master Erikus. One of the tr true Keyblade Masters and also Terra and Aqua and Ventus' teacher. He was a strong advert. He has a strong aversion to darkness and believes it that the duty of every Keyblade Master to rid of the world, to rid the world of it. Though strict on the outside, he is not unkind and lo and he loves his pupils like his own children. Master Xehanort. One of the true Keyblade Masters and a longtime acquaintance of Master Ericus. He is connected with the Masked Boy and harbors a hidden agenda. The Masked Boy. A mysterious figure with ties to Master Xehanor. He warned Ventus that Terra was in some kind of danger but disappeared before explaining any further. Spoiler alert. Uh, the Masked Boy's name is v Venetus. You, you know the some of the main characters are named after elements. Yeah, Ventus is supposed is named after air. Aqua is wa is named after water. Terra is named after earth. And Vanitas. Well, I I was uh, looking up the uh, up uh, some pictures for uh, Vanitas as a uh, for uh, reference while I'm doing a fan art for him for that character. I I. Let's just say I did not use Google and I end up getting pictures that depict death. So I guess that Vanitas means death. Okay. Roll call for the unversed. Flood. Ju just because these flow flows are around it as they strike doesn't mean you should get any antsy yourself. Lock on and let your keyblade do the talking. Careful though, your attacks won't hit if the floods have steeped into the ground. They are, they are a little more aggressive uh, than the sh shadows. Scrapper. These bags like to wait for an opening. If you start swatting your keyblade around without paying attention, the scrappers will have their claws. All over you in no, no time, stay alert. Of course, you could lo look for an opening yourself. Scrappers do tend to move in straight lines. Okay, they're, they're about as stupid as soldiers. Bruiser. They remind me of large bodies, but a little weird. But ju just a t tough an apple. Need proof that, that size matters? Wait till one of these juggernauts lays one down, down the hurt with its high uh, octane attacks. Their uh, shockwaves have a lot of range, so be sure to keep your distance. All the extra weight is bound to tucker out a bruiser out. Wait for the sign of fatigue, then put the big guy to sleep. Red Hot Chili. Don't expect these spice churls to hold still. You'll need a lock on if you want to blow. Want your blows to connect. Use bl blizzard attacks to douse their fires for good. They may try to try to slam you into it with a blaze, so be ready to stomp, drop, and roll at. Or at least roll. Well, that that's about everything for for the recap. Thanks for while watching, and I'll see for you another episode.